Hello students. In this video, we're going to show you how to convert between volume and capacity. So just a quick reminder, the volume of an object is just the amount of space that the 3D object occupies. Capacity is related, but it's um, how much this object can actually hold. And it turns out the conversions between volume and capacity are pretty straightforward. So one cubic centimeter, which is your volume, is this occupies the same space as one milliliter. So the standard unit of capacity is the liter, and a milliliter is one thousandth of a liter, occupies exactly the same space as one cubic centimeter. Now, if you recall from the previous video, when we converted cubic centimeters to cubic meters, it turned out there were a, a million cubic centimeters in one cubic meter. Well, that means there's a million milliliters in one cubic meter. Now, if I divide a million by a thousand, I end up with a thousand liters. So you can actually use that fact there to show that one cubic meter has the same, occupies the same space as a thousand liters. And the prefix in the metric system for a thousand is kilo. So instead of writing a thousand liters, you could also write it as one kiloliter. So these are the conversions that we have to use uh, to convert volume to capacity. But let's go ahead and do a few questions using those. Okay, first one's dead easy. A can of Coke holds 375 milliliters of Coke. What is the volume of one can of Coke? Well, again, we're not worried about the volume of the actual middle itself, just um, the volume inside of it. And 375 mils is going to be 375 cubic meters. So the answer to question one, there's no calculations to do. The number is exactly the same. And all we have to do is change the units. Okay, number two. In fact, I'll put a arc there. It looks too much like 1.375. Let me fix that one up. Question two. Okay, so what is the volume of Coke in five cans of Coke? Well, in one can of Coke, it's 375. Uh, cubic centimeters, that's the volume. So just multiply that by five. I'll get out my trusty calculator. And 375 multiplied by five and 1875. And again, we'll leave that as cubic centimeters. So when you're looking for a volume, you got to be working in cubic centimeters, cubic millimeters, cubic meters are your standard units for that. Okay, let's have a look at the last question. A rectangular swimming pool, 50 meters long, 20 meters wide, and 2 meters deep. What is the capacity of the swimming pool? So there again, we want to answer either in liters, or if it's big enough, kiloliters. Okay, so we start by writing our volume formula, area of the base times the height. Now, the base in this case is just a rectangle, so it's length times width times height. In place of length, I put 50. In place of width, I put 20. In place of height, I put two. I think this one I can do in my head. And that's going to give me 50. Well, five times two is 10. Add on two zeros gives me a thousand times two. That's going to be 2,000 cubic meters of water. Now I've got to convert that to a capacity. And easiest thing to do is just say one cubic meter is the same as one kiloliter. So there's no calculation to do 2,000 kiloliters of water. If you wanted to, you could express that as liters. Have to multiply that by 1,000. And you might want to say that that's going to be 2 million liters of water. OK, so the conversions between volume and capacity are fairly straightforward. 
Okay, uh, let's go ahead and, is this my last page? No, so I'm going to go ahead and do these, and you're going to do the ones on the next page. So 2.25 liters to milliliters. Well, in this case, we're converting uh, the same capacity to capacity. We're going from big units to small units. Therefore, I need to multiply. So 225, move the decimal point three places to the right because milli is there's 1,000 milliliters in a liter. And that gives me 2,250 milliliters. Convert it, converting cubic centimeters to milliliters. Well, it's just one is to one. So that one requires no calculation. Just change the units. Um, cubic centimeters to liters. I'll probably do this one in two steps. First, I know that 2,500 cubic centimeters is the same as 2,500 milliliters. And then I can convert milliliters to liters. Going from big small units to big units, I have to divide by a thousand. So that's going to be 2.5 liters. Okay, and the last one. Once again, I'll probably convert from cubic centimeters to milliliters to start with. So that gives me 7,800 milliliters. Then I divide by a thousand. That gives me 7.8 liters. And then to go to kiloliters, I've got to divide by 1,000 again. Okay, I've got to move that back three places. So I'm going to move it in front of the 7, and then I need two more places to hold it, to hold the, the place value. So 0078 kiloliters. So there's my 4. Okay, now it's time for you to have a go. Okay, so there's the conversions you need in the upper right-hand corner. Stop the video, convert the units, and then check, uh, check your answers. Okay, welcome back, students. Well, the first one, we're just going from milliliters to liters, small to big. Um, if I'm chopping something up or breaking something up into bigger units, I need to get, I'm going to get a smaller number, so I need to divide. So in this case, I just divide by 1,000. And 2,000 milliliters is the same as 2 liters. If I'm converting back the other way from big units to small units, I need to multiply by 1,000. So this decimal point has to move 1, 2, 3 places. And that's going to give me 30 milliliters. Cubic centimeters to milliliters, that's the easiest conversion in the entire universe. It's the same number, just change the units. Kiloliters to cubic meters. Well, guess what? That's the second easiest conversion in the entire universe. Once again, we just change the units. One kiloliter is uh, one cubic meter, so 0 0.13. And finally, we have to do a little bit more work to convert cubic centimeters into kiloliters. So the first thing I'm going to do is convert that into milliliters. Just change the units. I'm going to have to go down here. Now I can convert that to liters by dividing by a thousand. I move my decimal point three places, and then convert that to kiloliters by moving my decimal point once again three places. And that means I need to put a zero in front of the four. And there's the answer. So 40,000 cubic centimeters is the same as 40 liters, which is the same as 0 0.04 kiloliters. And that concludes all you need to know for now about volume and capacity. In the next series of videos, we will look at the volume of uh, slightly more complicated shapes. Okay, so goodbye.